Hi guys! Living in a house with three boys, a dog, and lots of dirty diapers. The camel's baby stinky. Boom! I'm constantly trying to find ways to keep the house smelling fresh and clean. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own homemade diffusers that you can customize with your favorite scents. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. Here's what you're going to need to get started. A glass container with a narrow opening, any carrier oil, rattan diffuser reeds, and scented or essential oils. First we're going to start with our main ingredient which is sawflower oil. You can use any carrier oil but I'd recommend one without a strong scent. I'm going to pour 3 quarters of a cup but your amount may vary depending on how many you're making and how large your containers are. Next we're going to add a quarter cup of essential oils and you can choose as many or as few as you'd like. You just want to make sure it's a 1 to 3 ratio to your carrier oil. First I'm going to add our lavender. This is one of my favorite essential oils because it has so many therapeutic properties. Next I'm going to add our sweet orange oil which is really fragrant and a natural mood lifter. And finally we're going to finish off with a tablespoon each of my two favorite fragrance oils, freesia and jasmine. Our mixture is complete, now we're just going to give it a quick stir and pour it into our container. I'm going to fill it about halfway up and I have enough oil left to make two more. And finally, we're ready to add our reeds. I'm using these rattan reeds that you can get for really inexpensive online. I've seen some people use bamboo skewers or even twigs from outside, but I like these better because they're nice and porous, so they allow the oils to travel through them and into the air. This smells amazing. It has a really fresh, clean scent and reminds me of spring. These diffusers not only make your house smell great, but add the perfect accent to any table or countertop. Adding a ribbon and monogram makes these a perfect personalized gift. And the best part is you can make them for a fraction of the cost and without any of the harsh chemicals that store-bought diffusers have. Alright guys, I hope you'll give these a try. We love how fresh and clean our house is smelling and it was really fun playing with the essential oils to create different scents. Tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see more DIYs with essential oils and I'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys!